सो वेलकम टू दिस ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ एर्गोनॉमिक्स फॉर बिगिनर्स इंडस्ट्रियल डिजाइन पार्सपेक्टिव सो द टूडेज करेंट मॉड्यूल इज द मॉड्यूल नंबर फोर पॉस्चर एंड मूवमेंट आउट ऑफ द क्लास आउट ऑफ द एट नंबर ऑफ क्लासेस इन दिस मॉड्यूल सो टूडेज मॉड्यूल इज द लास्ट मॉड्यूल दैट इज द वर्क काउंटर एंड इन द सीरीज इट इज द क्लास नंबर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सो वर्क काउंटर नाउ द जिस्ट ऑफ द लास्ट क्लास वेयर वी हैव डिस्कस द मूवमेंट एंड परफॉर्मेंस रिलीवेंस देयर वी मैंशन दैट मूवमेंट दैट इज अ डायनामिजम ऑफ बॉडी पार्ट्स एज ए होल बॉडी and the task and space around that linkages and few aspects we have stressed upon that is that being stationed at a point and stretching out that considerations we have discussed then we came to the movement with central focus remain unaltered means if we bent try to reach some point it it the space should be in such a way that we should come back to the central work attention area if we take more than one step away from the central work attention it is not easy to attain that central work attention area immediately so that needs to be considered and then horizontal work surface front side and backwards movements some work area where we require sit and stand movement continuously or the facility should be there so that that sitting sit and stand postures can be the facility should be available not only sit and stand but squat sitting on the floor on a with a cross legged position and also other postures we need to consider for that now the circulation is another point in and around a space the total body volume and how it moves in a space if there is some objects that we need to cross then how we take that the circulation clearances that is for single persons use and multiple persons use movement and attention to some object means the person is in a static position in a fixed position but object moves towards the man or away from the man that considerations are required and vice versa means the object is fixed but man is moving then another next concept was that both moves means the object and the person in same direction and the crossover any one station and both moves with very direction and speed do details of the visual aspect will discuss later but as per the work surface concern we need to consider all these things then the human vertical movement we also discussed there is a steps at home at different work places and outdoor some steps stairs elevator and not only the vertical upward movement or horizontal but there should be some spiral type of movement then some concepts we required specifically lift own body own body has weight and the different lifting 
with and without load and then movement and then safety concern fall slip etc we need to consider while conceptualizing some work surface and then finally we discussed that body movement range and joint angles so whatever movement we allow it should be within this now it also affects with age and other circumstances and the physical body build with this the today's topic is a class number 22nd that is a work counter that is the workspace design relevance now with this we would like to concentrate on single persons workstation as well as interaction with other persons across the work surface or the work counter <coughs> now this figure says that the work surface for a seated person for a seated person there is the occupant of this work station for the main occupant and the visitors concern the visitors for the single visitor or multiple visitor that concern and according the table top dimensions and etc now the concern is that the status of the occupants and visitors now if we consider a work station or means a work area or a work table for top executives there if we consider that this is the main occupant the comfort he requires his visitor is expected to ask for the same comfort so whatever concerns are here for this person it should be repeated in opposite sides like the concerns the basic concern should be in such a way that with a seated person they should extend their arm and they can shake hand each other so accordingly with this type of behavior the dimension of this table top is decided and the modesty panel in between this is the modesty panel this modesty panel is kept in such a way from the both the sides that both the person if they extend their leg it should have the free leg room and from the floor around 20 cm gap should be maintained in this modesty panel case so that if this is the modesty panel is placed here then here around 20 cm gap should be there so that the mopping and cleaning would be easier and here around 7 to 10 cm this much space should be kept free so that the palm rest is possible now the similar thing if we consider for the for junior executives there we expect that the junior executives visitors will come with some task that the junior executive needs to handle so in that as case so in that case it can be said that the comfort for the top executive the similar comfort may be given to the junior executive whereas the person visiting him he may have little lesser dimension in this because he needs to interact with him so that if he comes here and he 
first he should keep his files and etc in a little bit below it tablet a another platform he will keep all his material there and as and whenever requires he will take it out and he will place in this and if the junior executive requires to hand use it he will take and he can use that so this type of interactions are necessary and accordingly the table top dimension may be decided now for a clerical or secretarial task where the person the main occupant he may have some work items in front of him files and papers or something like that so the visitors are not or may be may may not be allowed to see at the front though normally it is seen in the offices but it would be better if an access is given on the side area so that uh, the visitor can come and can interact uh, directly and the concerns here for food uh, leg room and etc it should be kept uh, with a smaller modesty panel now this interaction will be done like this so this type of concepts uh, one can keep in mind while generating or while developing a desk sheet desk type of work station but now today's trend is now for flexible towards informal setup now the thing is another thing is that uh, when we are using the table tops or something with an sharp angle and the straight lines it gives more authoritative as well as a constraints feeling so nowadays the some smooth curves are used to to have an organic feeling so today's trend are going into this aspect but the concern the behavioral concerns one should consider now the counter usually refers to a horizontal work surface to work upon and work places in general to work individually or interacting with others it is frequently installed upon and supported by cabinets for storage purpose the surface is positioned at a task context specific ergonomic considerations for which it is designed now if we see this figure it is a typical kitchen with modern accessories now if we discuss this then think that the this height whether this height is comfortable the storage inside whether to keep material here is easier how much bent of a person is necessary if sink and etc are here the total layout of the things then the depth of this table etc are concerned another concern is that if a person stand and work here and at that time if at the same time the doors needs to be opened then what would be the con considerations here it should not hit the person or while closing there should not be any problem so all these things are necessary to concern now with this we can say that the counter dimensions and specifications must match with users anthropometric and 
context specific behavior considerations. As for example, height of the user and the particular task demand. Now, or now if the height is less or more uh, and so how compatible match is there that we need to check. We also cannot say here that if this platform height is more than this person then one can easily say that okay use a platform here movable platform. But the thing is that in this context if we use a platform when you step up it is easier it provides easiness to work upon here. But when you need to take out some material from inside this cabinet there will be problem or there is enough chance that you require frequent coming down and climbing up and so there is a it may be unsafe for working. So, then while conceiving this design of the kitchen platform the matter should be considered the compatibility factors. Now, if we see this small filmlet here we can see that then we may see that uh, the person is the person working here. Now, see the person is standing and working he she has to lift her arm at around shoulder level and while so, so a space a pain will be developed at the shoulder joint. Now, what to be done? Why it happens? It happens because the platform height is not considered fully. Now, if we see these figures here it says that the person's height that and the platform height is uh, what we can say that it is almost matching means uh, the thing would be like that. When we are working the platform height while designing a cooking platform height one should consider the basic height of the table and then the gas stove on it and then the vessel whatever is placed on that and there someone is working. So, that height is the work surface height for that purpose. So, what happened the basic platform height plus stove height plus vessel on the stove height this three combination gives a person the normal working surface height. It should be considered. So, accordingly the vessel height and stove height the, ba the basic platform height should be decided where the maximum the mixing spoon is handled as working height and that would be at around normal working height with as much as possible neutral elbow position. If we see a schematic diagram in this here in the right hand bottom corner of this slide here we can say that this is the total height of the main platform then the stove height. So, some concerns also some people can think that why not to make a even line why not to have a depressed area in somewhere 
where the gas stop can be placed. So, the gas stop, the stop to top and the platform will remain at the same height. One can think of this if it is possible to have it. And on that, the vessel that will be added. So, whether this much portion should be hidden to be put on below a surface, so that the top area should be on this or what would be the visible portion that depending on different task to be performed, it can be decided. So, these are the cases we must need to consider. So, a counter top depending on various purposes and task to be performed may be constructed of various materials both natural and man made each with its particular attributes with respect to functionality durability and aesthetics and may incorporate or house appliances or accessory items relative to the intended application. So, by this way a counter top length, breadth, height should be decided. Now, this figure says a sales counter displaying the products. In this case, the context is to display the maximum products area. So, here the table height the work may be relatively lower because here what is happened the person are supposed to check the material keeping on the surface means it is there some enough space should be provided for that. Now, if this table top is too high somewhere here if we place then on this some material is here then the interaction between the counterman salesman and the visitors or the guest with this product may not be appropriate. So, in this case the most important thing is to display the product for so, the interaction will be with the product and the work platform should facilitate this. This one this slide says a medical counter with a semicircular platform. Why semicircular platform? Because, because the person is centered here. So, from any direction he will be easy accessible and the special guard is given, but not fully with the glass type of thing. Here what is even the air flow is maintained easy air flow and it is not necessary to have that type of guard. So, this is the matter is given and now here the outer side it is semi circular, but inner side is a straight because for inner side that person it would be a normal table top type of appearance. Now, the interaction is going on. So, here what is happened? The person from here the in main interaction is taking place and so this platform height appears to be appropriate. Now, the for different purposes the work height will vary, but obviously it should not be above the shoulder level 
or it should not be very below the waste level. So, within this some variations are there. Now, what would be the actual dimension requirement that we will discuss now. Now, another instance is in that for nursing purpose. Nursing purpose the counter is here like this counter height is a normal counter height. Now, the person you can see here that she her upper arm hangs normally and she can work with this. So, it is easier for him for her to work in this context and in this trolley also the similar concerns is there. And here this one is more than 200 millimeter. So, what is happen when she one needs to take something from this platform, she does not need to bend much here. So, this is the gap it is being maintained more than this. Another aspect is that for in this nursing purpose, this bed is also a work counter for them because the work surface because uh, when patients comes here either on a sleeping on a sleep lying condition or in a sitting condition for taking blood pressure or giving injections and etcetera for this uh, it would be work table kind of thing. And here the for patient if it is too high then we require to provide a steps here. If it is too small then for the nursing would be little difficult. Then what would be the appropriate height? So, that patient can use it comfortably as well as the nurses also can have good access to the patients. In the same hospital type of atmosphere the another thing is that in that reception area interaction, but not comfortable. Now, see here only this much portion is the interactive area, but others not and then the way to into take some material with the papers and etcetera here paper work someone has to extend the arm here and obviously, it is not a good comfortable position. Now, why it is made like this way and question comes in if everybody knows this matter then why it happens? It happens because now from this the one thing is that to usage of the space in this space this staircase and etcetera this opens this area is being utilized for the reception, but the same reception we are seeing from the back side here it says that the counter is developed for the ease of the counter person and they are having the storage and etcetera like that. So, to give priority for towards this side activities the other side activities we are not considered we have not considered properly. So, then what would be the proper counter height? So, that the customers or the visitors other side of the counter and inner side of the counter the counter person the sales person they should have good interaction as well as all the requirement thing required things will be placed properly depending on different context studies to be done and accordingly design should be made. Now, another example that a reception area of a guest house type of atmosphere where this is the counter area, the visitors waiting area. Now, if we see the counter here in comparison to earlier hospital case the height is lower. Now, 
in good interaction is going on at least for working this arm you can have at this angle in comparison to this angle in comparison to this angle. So, the heights are reduced here. So, it gives a good interaction. So, much moderate interaction is going on. Moderate interaction now we are looking from the back side of this same counter here the moderate interaction is going on satisfying counter persons all needs means all needs is being considered. So, the chair is also provided here. So, that uh, this chair if he requires he can use in this case position and if he requires he can use for the computer use also. So, instead of having many different types of chairs here a single chair would be better in this case uh, with swivelling wheel and etcetera. So, that these are the concerns we should use for the counter design. Now, a shop there are varieties of work counters are there, but we are discussing here few examples. So, that it gives us some thoughts. So, that while designing similar type of counters we should keep all these aspects in mind. Now, in this case this is a coffee shop where tea coffees and other snacks etcetera are available. Now, people are coming here. So, in that case the interaction is here. So, now see the height is done in such a way that the person till the person's waist level it is there. So, that while working and etcetera this we do not require to lift your arm above the normal elbow position. Now, if we see from the inner side of this counter the same counter now see that so many small small cabinets places are there for these things and the good interaction takes place and the this length breadth of this this depth also according to the total arm is lower means that uh, this arm distance uh, and little more. So, that the proper activity means what type of activity is supposed to take place here accordingly the depth of the table top uh, is decided. Now, another thing is that uh, different types of people will interact and that facilities to be provided. Now, another thing now when we have a work counter we are not only concerned of that work counter, but with some context context means some other activities. Like in this case in this bathroom type of thing this is the wash area and the urinals. So, when a person enters he what the task sequences he follows and accordingly the platform support should be given like this. When he comes here he feels that to be done like this way. So, now here whether this posture is good required or this height may be lifted a little more or the, there may be a curvature kind of thing of all the things. So, that it will obviously with aesthetics and etcetera. So, that it would give an another aesthetic dimension to this approach should be considered not only functionality, functionality with some aesthetics appeal should be provided. Now, what would be done actually it needs a lot of considerations. Also we have to see here that the privacy is also another concern not only the work area 
what surface but the mirror and etc it provides here the c the from entry point of view if someone looks here then he should not feel that uh, the reflection of this area or the opposite area. So, all this concern are necessary to have a good platform or work surface or a counter development. Now, another thing is that uh, for a shop, sweet shop type of thing, a snacks type, snacks uh, shop, this type of curvature, this cover and etcetera, it gives a good visibility. So, from anywhere you can approach, from this both sides you can approach, but that side approach is the formal approach where the normal count, counter height is provided, but in this through this also one can approach just for talking and etcetera, but material in exchange it should be done from this side. So, the design itself it guides the people how to behave and which side of the design to be used actually to do certain task. In this case also the same thing that counter height and counter height is not closed, this is not closed it is the visible, but how much is visible the some gap here it is kept like this is. So, that the visibility and etcetera it should be above. So, minimum this should be around 200 millimeter minimum is required. It also gives not only the physical clearance requirement, but also visual requirement concerns. The counter is not only for the exchange of the material over the counter, but it also provides another aspect like this. So, that facility also we need to provide. Another thing is that now see it is being used as a body supportive platform. The counter and the body support is also used. So, now if there is no seating arrangement is provided, then this type of facilities may be there. With this we can say that today's discussion aims at understanding the various work surface heights relevant to normal work platform table, kitchen platform or any interactive work counters with the reference data set in Indian population. Whatever that we discussed all about the Indian requirement and Indian population. So, from where we can get the data Indian that if we depend on other than Indian population data source then it may not be good match with our requirement. So, Indian body dimension and our behavior should be considered. The common features for selecting relevant work platform heights in standing posture may be converted to sitting posture considering sitting elbow height. So, whatever we are discussing here all the basic point is that elbow height from the floor and the arm reach distances. Now, when we say that elbow height is the main factor, then we should see this slide it says that the work height depends on the task. There are three types of tasks we can say that for height wise like normal working height, normal working height if we see this the first figure normal working height if we stand erect with upper arm hanging freely downward and 
knee and the elbow placed at 90 degree angle with the upper arm it is the ideal position but at this position so and then the height of the elbow would be the norm good height but at this height it is little difficult to perform any task we little bent and then we also to do certain skillful work we require an elbow support so considering all these things it is said that the normal working height is the 50th percentile value of elbow height and 50 to 100 millimeter add to that so it will be the normal work height this should be considered everywhere now if we want to see something very close in for inspection purpose then the platform height should be higher then how much height we can bring it it has not only the arm but also vision matters vision matters is that if it now normally we require around 30 to 45 or 50 centimeter distance for the vision good vision now if it comes very close this height then that would be less so focusing would be problem it is uneasy so it is considering all the things it is said that if a normal elbow height for for fine inspection work height it would be 50th percentile of normal elbow height plus 20 to 200 to 300 millimeter addition to that so this will be the maximum L platform height for fine inspection type of work now what would be the lower height then it is said that for heavy manual lifting when arm is at around 150 degree angle at the elbow at the elbow level the 150 degree angle it is the where we can exert maximum force 150 degree to 120 degree type of thing so it is considered with all the things it is said that if the elbow height minus 200 millimeter this would be the heifer lower platform height for heavy manual work and for that elbow dimensions is given here where elbow dimension value in millimeter male female and combined data all are given here with the minimum value and percentiles fifth 25th 50th 75th and 95th percentile values maximum value mean value and standard deviation and in ratio ratio means the elbow height and the stature height that ratio is given here so from this data one can consider this and for that purpose normally the 50th percentile value we consider when we are not sure who will be the intended user for mass and purpose but depending on the safety requirement and etc we need to consider various percentile values of elbow heights like those physical human body dimensions based on elbow heights arm having vertical downward at the side of the body assist fixing various work platform heights for comfortable work normal upper permissible and lower respectively for inspection etc fine work and handling heavy material for general purpose 50th percentile of elbow height that is roughly around 1 meter for Indian case may be considered for writing etcetera 
it may be fixed at elbow height plus 50 to 100 millimeter and for minute attention it may go up to 200 millimeter for heavy manual material handling it may go down to 200 millimeter from the elbow height. In the case of dynamic body dimensional measurements as the body functional context vary, comfortable work postures should be maintained and measurements of body parts in such positions should be taken with extension and flexing movements so that various reach values in different positions are normally taken care of. Now, in this figure it is seen that work platform, work counter and the work station. Now, this is a small room where the two different activities are going on means it is divided in a such a way so that the lower this thing one man just, just can stand and upper also one man just can stand now like this way. But in this case the so like this way the two different activities are going on in a single room with a ladder to go in. Now, in this case if it is necessary a special design may be developed that if this is a room. So, this may be something like this where or may be something like this in this case like this. So, that a person can stand and can have the work table here and in this case the man can stand man can stand and can have a work table somewhere here like this way and then this can be a staircase this area may be a staircase type of things so this type of development concerns or maybe there are some other active some uh, systems one can develop now the basic anthropometric data is the elbow height from the floor or against a reference surface like a chair sitting it may be a seated surface. The same elbow point may be taken for standing sitting posture on a chair and other posture such as sitting on floor with cross legged and squatting. Data may be collected from selected subjects in a particular population group. Both direct and indirect measurement may be considered separately or taken both simultaneously for considering the following measurements. Analysis of photographic records of an activity against a suitable grid and anthropometric rod set also can be used. Not only the sitting in a sit a chair desk type of activities, but this type of activities sitting on a bed and working this also is there. So, in that case the what would be the considerations this also needs to be thought of. Now, this another aspect in the counter etcetera here is not only the human body dimensions but the behavioral requirements are there and this behavior requirement we are going to discuss in next class sessions. With this we are concluding today's session of posture and movement today's module we are concluding here and the next module would be the behavior and perception. So, now onwards it will be behavior and perfect and perception their total five sessions will be there. So, with this we are ending today's session.
so we'll meet the next day till that time goodbye thank you